Welcome back or welcome if you are new here in today's video I will show you how you can set up and design your footer on your website built with Google Sites. As you might already know, you can use Google Sites to build all sorts of web pages. You can set up entire website, you can do blog and even something like e-commerce or the whole sales funnel. Everything is possible with Google Sites and we have done lots of tutorials on this channel. So in today's video, I will just gonna be focusing on Fuda and I will show you some tips and tricks you need to know when designing and setting up Fuda on your web page built with Google Sites. And if you stick with me until the end of this video, I will also share some free HTML codes you can use on your pages and some social media icons you can use on your Fuda as well. So if you stick with me until the end of this video, I will share all the these free HTML codes with you and you can implement them on your pages that you have done with Google Sites. Okay, so I have just opened Google Sites by typing sites.google.com and that's my blank page. So just to show you some of the footers I have done before, simple text, some footers including text and social media icons and another design like this. Now these ones are HTML code that I will share with you later on. Okay, so to get started, if you scroll down on the bottom of any of your page, you will see this icon saying add footer. Now if you click on the footer, it will by default give you the text box. So if you are doing, let's say, some several columns of the text, you will first insert your text right here. Alright, so let's say I have created my first column of my footer. Now with all other text on Google Sites, you have options how you can format this text. So you can select the preset style right here. Okay, so if that's a footer, that will be something smaller. And then you can always change the font style and you can also select the font size right here. Okay, and then you can also bold it, use italic underline, change the text color and so on. Now one of the most important features right here is to adding the link. So you would like to insert some links on your footer and we will get to that in just a second. So now let's say this is my first uh, column that I have done. I would like to shrink it to display smaller. So if I want to display smaller, I will reduce the font size, something to like this. Okay, and then just shrink it up again. And then I have some empty space from here. I can just get rid of it by simply clicking on backspace. Okay. Now, this is our first column. If I want three columns like this, the quickest way to do so is simply click on this and then you can duplicate this section, okay? So once you have duplicated the section, you can hold on to this handle and just simply drag it and position next to it, okay? And that's how you can create multiple columns on your footer. Of course, if you only want a single text, you can then get rid of this section by clicking on remove and stretch your text across. Now, one thing that I would like to show you uh, is to hide your foot on some of your website pages. So let's say you are building sales funnel and you don't want to display foot on all of your pages. Then if you come, I have done some um, pages right here, some just example page. So if I'm on a page one and then you can see your footer is right here. So what you can do now is scroll down more and on the bottom left corner, you will see hide footer on this page. So if you click on this icon, footer will be hidden only on this page. So if we come back on our homepage, you can see you still have your footer. If you go down and pay, click on page two, there is still your footer right here. But since we hide the footer on page one, if you click on page one, you'll see your footer is gone. Okay, so let's head back on a homepage. Now, if you would like to insert any image on your footer, you can simply click and again, double click here and click on upload or come on the insert bar right here, click on the images and then you can upload your image or select one from the Google. Now, when it comes to social media icons, you can use images just like on this site right here. So these are the images and then you can link them. You can simply click on insert link and then link external link to your social media account or you can use a HTML code like here. Now, if you would like to use images, you can head to the site called canva.com and if you search for any of social media accounts, under the elements, you can see the icons you can use. Then if you click on this icon, you can change the color depending on background of your site. And to save this, you need to come on share, then scroll down on download, then select a PNG and select transparent background, okay? 
and this is premium pro paid feature so if you would like to try it out free for 30 days i will leave the link in this video description so once you have done this image you can then go back on google sites and if you just simply double click and go on images you can then upload your image from your computer or select one of the images are on your drive or select one of the google ones offered so if you want to upload your own you click on this and then click on upload and you can select file on your computer now to use html code and i will share this code with you in just a minute you need to double click and then click on embed embed code paste your code you will see the urls here you can then change them to your own social media accounts okay and then click on next it will give you preview and click on insert and you have now inserted your social media icons here or link to your social media profiles okay you can also assess embed from the insert bar right here by clicking on embed it will work the same now one tip that i would like to show you is how to create a space between your main page and your food so for example i have done it on this page so i have designed my page i have some social media icons here with the followers and some text right here here. So this white space is not showing on your uh, site when you actually preview it. So let's click on the preview and you can see if you scroll down and preview your page, it won't show this space. It will just simply show your footer and uh, whatever you have above. Now to increase this space, sometimes you would like to show a bit more gap there. You can simply insert empty text box. So if you click on the text box and then you have this text just a tap on your space bar to create some empty space and then if you come on a section colors right here and select it as black it will just create some extra space without really showing anything okay so you can just drop some element as a background uh, you know square or corner right here but you can always use empty text box to create empty space now another thing that i would like to show you is if you are using email icons on your footer you can link them directly and people can send email just by clicking on that icon so if we head back to a canva and search for email now you can select one of these icons right here okay let me just make it a little bit bigger and download in this size double click click on upload then select your file and then you of course you can adjust the size and crop it okay okay you can position it and adjust the size the way how you would like to now the main thing is if you click on it and then click on the link you can use this external link mail to column name at email.com so you can then replace your email username let's say mail to hello at merit mastering then click on apply and this icon will be then linked to this email so once somebody click on this icon on your page let me just publish and show you how it will look like so now once somebody click on this icon they will be linked to their email browser and they will be able to send email to you directly now as promised all these free html codes including the social media icons you can use on your site's footer you can assess by simply heading to url uh, landing.meritmastering.com code dash product okay so once you go to this url you will then land on the page looking like this and you need to enter your email address and you will receive all these codes and then you can just simply copy and paste them and use on your pages that's it for today's video if you enjoyed give it a thumbs up and if you would like to see more video tutorials like this don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications now go ahead and watch this video as a next one it will show you a very advanced google site tutorial including more tips tricks and hacks you need to know when using a google sites i'll see you there